Okay, so I wanted to do a little update on my werewolf necklace and uh, werewolf paw necklace. As you can see here, hopefully, uh, I added a little more Sculpey here on the end, a little more polymer, polymer clay, and I added a, a bead here. And you can see it's got a loop there that goes into the clay. And this bead would be where I'd put the paracord through. All right. So this would be basically what it would look like, except this bead will be made out of the same material as the as the claw. And uh, I went ahead and made a mold, and the mold did not turn out. Uh, you probably can't see it here, but it had a bubble in the palm here. Uh, some of the fingers had bubbles in them. And the problem that I had when I made the mold is that the molding material that I had, I bought years ago, and it was made for a a much larger project. project. So this is a real tough, it's a real tough uh, rubber when, it, when it's uh, cured, it's a really tough rubber. And when you pour it, it's really thick. So what I need is a... a a much thinner, softer rubber material made for like use and uh, for use on jewelry and things like that. So until I get another molding material, uh, I can't make my my necklace or can't complete my necklace. So for now, I'm just holding off on to, on it, and I plan to uh, try a couple different things. I'm gonna try one to mold it this way so that it's all one material. And the second way, I'm going to try to mold it where that I can put the bead inside the mold and then pour the material in so that when I bring it out, it'll be one solid, hard, uh, cold cast piece with a metal bead in it. So I'm going to try it two different ways and try to figure out how I can uh, eventually get the werewolf uh, paw done. And what I hope to do when I cast it is uh, cast it in a material that will allow me to put uh, walnut uh, powder in it so that when when it hardens when it's sealed and I, and I bring it out of the mold uh, it will have it will look like walnut like the wood walnut and that's what I want is a dark almost chocolate cover colored uh, walnut werewolf paw for a necklace and if I can get it molded and cast, then hopefully I can uh, put them up on Etsy for sale and see how I do with uh, making a few of them. But, okay, with that done, I wanted to show a few things. Uh, the first thing I, I want to show is the first ever sculpture I did. And this was uh, the first time I ever used polymer clay and this was regular Sculpey this was not done with uh, with super Sculpey this was regular Sculpey and that's why you don't see as much detail as you would with uh, with the new Sculpey but this this character uh, I made this with, he's uh, he's a wire frame with aluminum foil and uh, actually aluminum foil and newspaper uh, wrapped around the foil and uh, and then I, I, I made the the hands the face and the feet with the uh, with the polymer clay and then I took scraps of uh, of uh, cloth and cut them and placed them around him and coated that with a uh, a liquid bisque which uh, when it sinks into the material and dries, it dries like a ceramic. And the hair here is actually uh, fur I com combed off of my black lab. Uh, feathers are uh, real feathers I found. The the stick that he carries, and you can see it's just a stick I found in the woods that had a vine that was growing around it. And so I put him together and I'm making a video. What? Oh, you're making a video? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, uh, back to this. Anyway, this was my first sculpture, and by the time I had finished him, uh, I had worked in my mind about seven other characters of this species. I'd worked up uh, their the the type of species there were they were uh, their size, which uh, they were about seven feet tall. Uh, their society, uh, who he was. This is Jug, which his name, uh, his enemies call him Jug, like J as spelled uh, J U G G, because they can't pronounce his real name. But uh, anyway, uh, I eventually ended up writing a 400-page novel about about these characters, and uh, I had that novel sitting around here. I've never tried to publish it or anything because I'm not that talented, but it was something I enjoyed doing. And uh, to this day, my wife refuses to watch uh, Avatar because she says that it was they kind of took my story. But Avatar came out uh, 20 years after I came up with this this character joke. But anyway, this was my first ever sculpture that I did with uh, polymer clay. Okay, moving on. Uh, this was one of the last sculptures that I was working on. And this was, I had intended for this to be kind of a alien robot uh, angel. And you can see that I was gonna put wings on the back of her. And uh, the body texture, the musculature of her is actually of a professional bodybuilder, a female bodybuilder. I, I copied her and uh, then added some armor and, and uh, texture to her. But uh, I kind of stopped in the middle of this because no matter what I tried to do, I see, it seemed that I could not figure out how to make the wings. I tried over and over and over, and the wings were too heavy or just didn't weren't able to have the detail that I wanted, or it was something. Every, it was always something that prevented me from completing those wings. And so without the wings, it was kind of uh, a defeat. And so I eventually I, I stopped working on her, but I really do, I did like it. And so what I did was when I got my, uh, when I started working in a 3D program called Blender and started, started modeling things for games and stuff, I did a 3D representation of her that turned out much better than this model. But, uh, my computer crashed and I lost it. So that was a, another big blow to, to my artistic abilities. But it, anyway, the, I keep this around because I do like it and I don't know, maybe someday I will finish it. Uh, this face, if you look at this face, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's kind of like the, uh, the old Cylons from uh, Battles, the original Battlestar Galactica, and uh, the the redesign for the uh, when I did it in the 3D program, I gave her uh, kind of mechanical eyes, gold mechanical eyes, gold uh, golden black, like uh, the eyeball was kind of black and the iris was a gold color, and uh, it it had a really good look with her with two eyes but still the uh, kind of blank mechanical helmeted head and I really liked it so if I ever do finish this that's what I would do but the problem one of the problems is when I see things in my head like this I, to me this is a, a 10 foot tall steel welded sculpture that's how I see things in my mind but I don't have the the money or the ability to, to to work in in the materials that I'd like to, so I, I kind of fool around with with uh, sculpting. And I don't, matter of fact, uh, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you find out that I stopped doing my art for many years. I just 
quit doing it because uh, I just kind of gave up on life. But anyway, uh, this is Angel. And maybe someday I'll finish her, maybe not. I don't know. All right, on to another project. 